Hey YouTube, it's me in his eyes. I'm Queen and I am back and we are going to see if these polishes water marble. So I have two nails here because I'm going to do two. I'm going to try two and I'm going to use the China flower. I'm going to try that one. Um, let's try the... Uh, we're going to try the espresso. And we will try the, uh, which one, which other one do I want to try? Uh, let's do the, let's do the, the Bordeaux. So we'll do the, the two darkest reds and the espresso. <clears throat> But first, really quickly before I do this, I was getting out my stuff for the um, stamping because I'm going to try the stamping next. And <clears throat> I pulled out this snapper right here. <coughs> um, this is not the one that I'm going to use, but I just wanted to show you guys something real quick. So I know, I don't know if anybody has ever done this or tried this or whatever, but... Um, I thought I would share with you guys. If you have, then, you know, you can take all the credit for it. I just, I didn't, I don't know if anybody has tried this yet or not. But anyway, um, I buy a lot of these uh, LA Color Shimmering Eyeshadow Pigments. And what I do is I depot them. I pop the bottom off and I take all of the pigment out and I put them into uh, baggies because I hang them up. But um, the tops of them... This is the top. The tops actually fit these stampers really good. So, you know, if you have like extra stampers or anything, you know, just laying around. Let me kind of get some of this stuff off of here. But anyway, if you have like extra stamping heads and stuff laying around, they fit inside of those. So you can actually keep these and use them to hold your stamper and it, it's a comfortable grip and everything because of the way that it's shaped so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys so if you buy the LA color uh, eyeshadow pigments keep these little tops because you can use them to hold your stampers <clears throat> so um, let's get on into this water marble to see if these uh, polishes marble Okay, so like I said, I got two uh pol two polished swatch sticks here, and I used um my Wet n Wild Mega Last in Whip Topping to polish them. So I used that, and let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm gonna sit those to the side. I'm going to get my polishes ready. Go ahead and open these up so they'll be open and ready to use. Okay, we're gonna go like this. I have my water here from when I marble. Okay, and then also, where did I put my um little needle I don't know I have um, I have these and I call these my marbling needles and I just pick these up from the Dollar Tree they're like little tacks but they have like this little handle on the top of them so I use those to water marble with so let's see if we can get these to marble all right, so let me move this out the way. I got my napkin. Okay. All right, we're going to start off with the china flowers. And then we're going to go in with the espresso. And then we're going to go in with the Bordeaux. And they actually spread really nicely if they'll drip before it dries. 
And then we're gonna go back in with the espresso. And then we're gonna go with the china flowers. And then back with the espresso. And then back with the Bordeaux. So they actually do spread pretty good. And then we're just gonna keep rotating the colors. Oop, and I would make a mess. That's all right. So yeah, be careful marbling cause I make messes. And then we'll do one more drop of the red. All right, so I'm gonna take my marbling tool and we are going to start marbling this and see what we can what we can do with this. So I see that part of it is starting to dry. So we're just gonna use the center part. But they actually marble pretty good. And then I'm going to take my swatch stick and I'm going to go in where I want to put my design. Uh, let's go right here. So we're going to just dip in, turn it, blow on the water. and then clean up the excess. Okay. And we are going to slowly pull that out. Very slowly. And that is the design that we got for that one, which is actually very pretty. Okay, so we'll try three more colors. This time I'm gonna do some blues. Can you do that with shoes? Huh? Can you do that with shoes? Uh, if you got enough, yeah. I wouldn't recommend nail polish though. Okay, so let's do the ginger melon you know what let's do let's do the uh, surf spray let's do the surf spray we will do we will try the tropical rain this one is kind of one of the thicker ones so i don't know how this one is going to um spread but we'll try it so we'll do those two and let's do the espresso again okay so we're gonna start with the tropical rain so i can see how it spreads first oh it spreads actually pretty good and I'm gonna just take my um, little toothpick here and kind of spread it out a little bit. Oops, sorry. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with the espresso. Then we'll go in with the surf, whatever it's called something surf and then we'll go back in with the espresso and i see that the surf is not spreading all that well all 
but we'll work with it and see. Then we'll go back in with the uh, Tropical Rain. So that one didn't spread all that well. So this is going to be a little bitty one. But sometimes you get those ones that don't want to spread, and sometimes you get the ones that will spread. So, that's okay. So, I'm just going to try to do just a little small design with this one. And I'm just going to work in the center. And that might actually give me a really pretty pattern. I can see it trying to spread now. So we'll just go with that. And I am going to dip in right about here. Oh, this is kind of a long video. Okay. Oh, sorry if I'm out of focus. Okay, so we're going to slowly pull that out. While I'm over here getting polish all over my fingers. So we'll slowly pull that out. And that is what we have. So that is still very pretty. So some of them will, mar will marble really, really good. So um, next, I'm going to come back and see if we can do some stamping with these. So, all right, ladies, thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.